I don't mean to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Please, they don't make these programs easy to use. My name is Nancy Drew. I understand you appraised a necklace for Adela Cherna. Ah, yes, because Adela thinks I stole her gems. That's what I'm here to find out. She and I have no secrets. But you must be tired from your journey, from the States. You don't need to worry about me. I am well rested and ready to listen. You don't look it. My mistake. Did you enter Adela's necklace on Dagos? Oh, you know about this monstrosity on the computer. It's a new system. Did you create Adela's entry? I did not. When I got the necklace back from Second Shine, I had to input that the gems had been replaced. Is there any way the Dagos entry could have been wrong from the beginning? How would I know? I don't have access to this. Do you think the gems in the necklace were replaced in the same way as at the Pratska Historic Sky Museum? If so, then the thieves are chasing a bigger prize than my little shop. Stealing gems from a renowned museum is a high-stakes crime. How do you think the gems were replaced? Ask Oscar Dvorak. Not a friend? We have... spoken. He is competent, but I am a far better appraiser and jeweler, so he won't work with me. And even fewer people will work with him. Hmm. I see. He would be out of a job, you know. They would hire me to supervise all the gem exhibitions. Except for the crown jewels, of course. Why wouldn't they let you supervise the crown jewels? It stems from an old tradition. For centuries, women were overlooked in the elite gem trades. Even still, we have to fight for the positions we have. I didn't realize. Traditions are not changed easily, even by capable women. You have seen this. I'm fortunate that the men in my life don't give it a second thought. <laughs> and I often don't make it easy for them. <laughs> fortunate. It should not be left to fortune. You will learn. We can only rely on each other. With experts like you around, how are the fake gems getting past years of appraisals? They are very good fakes, which is why only I could have discovered them. And what skills are needed for such an expert appraisal? Years of training, special lenses, and tools. Glasses are not enough. Though large frames would suit you, and go with your style, if that's what you call it. Thank you? So you're saying the average person wouldn't have noticed? Average? No. But you are a detective. You have a better eye than the average. How quickly could you learn the trade, I wonder? This is a beautiful store. You founded this company? I did. I come from a long line of appraisers and gemology experts. My father taught me all that I know, and many come to me in Prague before they go to anyone else. I have had no complaints. Few, few complaints. Well, an open business will get complaints from time to time. What kind of complaints? I did not make them enough money, usually. Finding buyers is more art than science. So, your passions lie in the craft, but sales are what keeps you in the business. I could not have gotten this far without managing my money and my connections well. I have generous clients. What was your opinion of Second Shine before all this? Some of my clients have used them in the past. Did any of them have the same problem? Could they really be the ones behind the counterfeit gems? <laughs> it is possible Second Shine has been stealing jewels all along. Only I caught them. Could you tell the necklace was fake as soon as she gave it to you? The necklace is not fake. 
It is the same as the first time I saw it. The gems, they are fake. And you could tell that right away. As an expert, of course. So you found a buyer for the necklace? One just like Adela asked for. But when she got the necklace back from Second Shine, it was too late. Who's the buyer? Client confidentiality. <laughs> you understand. But it is over. I could not sell a necklace with fake gems. Then they're not really a client. <laughs> I like you, but no. You said you'd seen the necklace before. She showed it to me, so I could find a buyer for it. Of course, then, the gems were real. I would have gotten her a fair price, and I did, but she had already sent it to Second Shine. It doesn't seem like you're too happy about that. Certainly you see why. They take your gems, a scam. Thank you for your time. I may come back if I have more questions. You will let me know what you find. I'll leave that to Adela. I'm a good friend. If I had anything to hide, why would I have told her the gems were fake? It is a mystery. I should get going. Good. We are done here. Excuse me, that was my assistant. And what do you need? Mr. Dvorak? I'm Nancy Drew. Ah, the American. I did not expect you so soon. I like to follow a lead. What is Svativit? What? Oh, St. Visat's Cathedral. That's nothing. What sort of security do you have in place? Guards, cameras, everything one would need. Then how were the thieves able to replace the gems? There's a better question. How would they be able to in the future? You haven't answered my question. I won't answer your question because of security. How reliable is Degas? It's the best system we have for tracking the provenance of precious stones and jewelry. Do you use it for jewels in your collection? Of course, gems are worthless if we don't know their story. If we had had Degas before, Maybe we would have discovered the switch of the gems sooner. What do you know about Vladena's Lati? The world of gems and jewelry is very small, and in Prague it is smaller still. She works well as an appraiser, nothing more. Meaning? She lacks a true appreciation of gems, where they come from, their story. For her, it is money. Do you think she would try to replace the gems of one of her own clients? She wouldn't be very smart, if so. 
What was your opinion of Second Shine before all of this? I have never used it. I work with priceless jewels, not common heirlooms. I suppose you don't hold a high opinion of their service. I have no opinion. How frequently do you check the exhibits for fakes? I do not need to do so frequently. Only when we remove them from storage and when we return them. Do you have anyone else examine them? I was appointed to this position by the government. They have utmost confidence in me. There are some amazing exhibits here. I would like to look around. Please. You are welcome. Incredible glasswork, but how does it open? I need more information. What are you doing? Could I have a closer look? Be careful. There are strange markings all over it. It could be part of an ancient riddle. Uh, but, but not so fast. This cannot be removed from the museum. Well, can I take pictures? If you must. Return here if you want to see the artifact again. have to do that. Check.
intricate. This is the same mark that I saw on Oscar's artifact. Nancy! Caller ID does take the mystery out of things. You're not the only detective. In fact, I've already solved one mystery for you. Wonderful! I can spend the rest of my time here enjoying the sights. We both know you wouldn't be happy until you found another case. True. And speaking of cases, your father is nose deep in one of his, so he asked me to help you in his place so you can lay that mystery to rest. You would help me anyway. Yes, but now I am fully deputized. Did my father find out anything about Second Shine or Hans Farzinger? He's still looking into every territory. So far, nothing concerning out of Germany where it's headquartered. I don't suppose he has a researcher fluent in Czech? Not last I checked. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I know. Not my finest moment. 
Have you heard about the Degas system? Degas? The painter? That's how it's spelled. It's a system that tracks precious gems and jewels worldwide. Sounds like a big deal. Do you think this goes further than Second Shine? No. No, wait, you're right. I might need to call in a different kind of help. Like... The Hardy Boys. They have contacts I don't. And I don't. I understand. I should reach out to them before it gets too late. I'm here if you need me. I'm still good for talking about the case. <laughs> yes, you are. Till next time. All right, Nancy Drew. Good night over there. And stay safe. done with that yet. That's done. Check. Check. That's done. Check. I'm not done with that yet. Nancy. Joe! Actually, it's Frank. One of these days. We were about to go toss a ball around. What can we do for you? You know when you were in Boston consulting on the exhibits on jewel thefts? Did you ever hear about a Dagos system while working on the case? Hear about? Yes! We could get you the Dagos file on any gem or jewel you could ever want. Jewels? Gems? Crime? Definitely more fun than throwing a ball around. That would be amazing. How? We had a special agent working with us on the exhibit. Special agent Zane Garrett. <clears throat> Nancy, send us information on the file you want, and we'll have him send it over. You should be able to contact Zane later today. Make that tomorrow. I'm in Prague now. Prague? We love Prague. Yeah, we traveled through there on a really amazing case. Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah, it has one of the largest castles in the world. Yeah, that's where I'm standing right now. It's incredible. Oh, you should send us a picture. And Nancy, if you didn't bring a laptop, you should get one. Your phone won't be able to handle the Degas file. Don't forget to check out all the paintings there. If you take the train, who knows, you might find treasure on the tracks. <laughs> I'll have to see what I can do about that computer tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Check.